back with another 12 gauge shotgun test. You may have seen where I tested and compared the 12 gauge slug against the Raging Judge Magnum with some uh, 454 Casul rounds, which were actually surprisingly competitive. And I thought that's really interesting, but is the slugger, the, what I tested, the Remington slugger, is that the best slug out there? Because there's a lot of talk about Brennicky slugs. This is the Brennicky Black Magic. This is the short magnum. It's a one end slug and it's rated at the same 1560 feet per second as the slugger is. So the Black Magic is a different design and I want to find out how this will do. Is this any better performing? Does it do more damage? What does this do any different than the Remington Slugger, which was a fantastic performer. I was very happy with what the Slugger did, but let's find out what the Black Magic does. Test gun, 18 and a half inch barrel, Remington 870. Test medium is going to be professional ballistic gel, which is a uh, simulant of human muscle tissue and generally overall represents the general density of a human body. So if you were to hit somebody in the thigh, not that you ever would want to, but if you're in a defensive encounter and you had to hit somebody in the thigh with a shotgun slug, this will give us pretty close to picture to what would happen. Uh, overall in the torso and the chest and whatever through bones, it's not a perfect simulant, but it's the best we've got. And that's what we're gonna go with. So ballistic gel, meet the Brennicky Black Magic Short Magnum Slug. The Brennicky Black Magic Short Magnum Slug penetrated to 22 inches. But that's not the interesting part. This, yeah, we do track how far it went. Yeah, it's a little bit over penetration. Okay, it's a lot over penetration for self defense, but it's a 12 gauge slug. That said, this bit, yeah, how far it went, sure, we got to know that. But what I'm going to show you next uh, may blow your mind. This is the first block. This is the organic gel block. Now this is a human tissue simulant. It's designed to mimic the density and the bullet resistant properties of human muscle tissue. And so I'm going to show you is first of all we have pretty much absolute complete destruction for the entire 16 inch length of the block. But when you get to see really just how much destruction there is and then imagine this as if this had actually been a six inch by six inch square section of a human body. Uh, it's it's kind of overwhelming. I'm trying to break it up into pieces so you can get a better look at it, but as you saw, it's it's hard to even keep it together because it's already completely destroyed. This is the entrance wound, and we're looking at this is six solid inches. This is about five and a half by six. And as you can see, it just utterly eviscerated everything within there. So as I just, I haven't cut this part, you know, I, I cut this chunk off, but, but all this damage that you're now going to see was done by the bullet itself. So this thing is totally, completely destroyed throughout the entirety of it. I didn't pull anything apart there. It's just completely destroyed. Okay. So this has a little resistance. So some of this tried to hold on, but as you can see, it's, it's shredded clear throughout there. So that's an entire column, six inches by six inches. That is just completely, entirely destroyed. You just imagine if you were hit with this or if someone you were forced to defend yourself against was hit with this, I don't see how it's survivable. Take the rest of the block here and show you this. This continues. There was even more damage than the block can contain because it's split all the way through here. So we don't know how truly wide this damage track may have spread out to be. Because on both sides here, it damaged more than six inches wide or five and a half inches wide.
Okay, here's, here's what we recovered from that gel block. So this here is a part of the my best basically the wad system this this is featured on the on the box cover and this plastic these plastic elements had actually traveled with the bullet all the way to the terminal point of travel and then there's this horrible nasty sharp and gigantic that's that's what's left over of a Brennicky short black magic slug when you get hit with that. It's a gigantic bullet. One little snippet fell off of it, but other than that, this gigantic heavy thing stayed together and penetrated clear through what a human being would be or clear through a deer or whatever. It went 22 inches. And it, it got sharp and nasty. You can see these sharp edges all around it. It cut, it smashed, it destroyed. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible for you know the flesh simulant that got hit with it. There, there was, there's no way you would want to experience that. That black magic slug is devastating. This black magic slug is uh, the most destructive thing I've ever put through a block of gel. I've uh, I've never seen anything quite like this. It was substantially faster than the Remington Slugger. It was uh, over 100 feet per second faster, even though it's the same barrel and they're rated for the same speed on the box. It expanded to a bigger diameter. It penetrated about the same and it just destroyed more. It destroyed everything in its way. This, if there ever was uh, a mythical one-shot stop bullet, I tell you, this, this is the closest thing you're gonna find. A 12 gauge loader with this is a devastating, anti-personnel weapon. If you needed to stop a human being, this this is a horrifically devastating way to do it. <sighs> so, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like button. Please hit subscribe and you'll be notified when the next video is posted.